Drive is running good, so. <clears throat> Upon you, my fellow servants, in the name of Messiah. I confer the priesthood of Aaron, which holds the keys of the ministering of angels and of the gospel of repentance. <clears throat> and baptism by immersion for the remission of sins. And this shall never be taken again from the earth until Joseph Smith Jr. is assassinated. <clears throat> Sons of Levi do offer again an offering unto the Lord in righteousness. Which tribe was Moses from again? Hmm. He's a son of Levi. Hmm. Interesting. So I have to redo the bombshell videos I did yesterday that nobody cared about. Joseph Smith knew about the latter days. Not only prophesied from what the Bible already tells us, but threw in some extras. <clears throat> and some star dates. Not just from what the Bible gives us, but some extras. One of those extras is the bombshell video that I gave yesterday that nobody cared about. That of the Tetrad in 2014 2015. Joseph Smith, the Christ of Mormonism, the founding Christ who, according to President Russell M. Nelson, is also the chief cornerstone of the cornerstone. <laughs> Whom the Mormons rejected. <laughs> God, how did he get put in as the false Christ of the great and abominable church? And yet Joseph knew, because <laughs> three apostles died during that first tetrad, putting Nelson in pole position for president of the church of the great and abominable, the great and abominable church of idol god Jesus posing as Lucifer, or Lucifer posing as the great Jesus idol god of Latter-day Saints. <clears throat> if you're going to name the church, it must be named after the Christ for the church. And that's the Christ of Mormons, because they reject the Christ of Joseph Smith who is Joseph Smith, but he talks about a future man like Moses, the Christ of the Jews, where there's a long link all over scriptures, and Joseph added to it, as well as Book of Mormon. But Joseph translated the plates into the Book of Mormon, Travis. Nobody cares. Nobody pays attention. Everybody just wants to be entertained. <clears throat> and so, let's go over it. So the messenger who visited us on this occasion and conferred this priesthood upon us said that his name was John, 
the same that is called John the Baptist in the New Testament, and that he acted under direction of Peter, James, and John, who held the keys of the kingdom to rule the church. <laughs> <laughs> because Brigham Young was that man and so his church is the true one <laughs> that they don't even acknowledge having the key of Moses <sighs> section 107 verse 91 to make Joseph Smith the first elder of the church the Christ it was on the 15th day of May 1829 <laughs> I went through and did the research it was a bombshell uh, if a bombshell goes off in Mormonism, do any Mormons hear it? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> because that date there was a sign in the heavens. <sighs> and after doing the Tetrad video, there were people that watched that one. I think the normal average number of people, right? Let's check. See, one thing leads to another. <laughs> I can't, I never catch on to the lyrics, and so I make up my own lyrics for songs. One thing leads to another. Tell me something more. I know I listen no more. Something like that. All right. So Travis Wayne Goodsell. This could be the cause of why that's all folks got 400 views plus in a one day time period on the 10th and 11th this month. This past week because YouTube is doing a new thing where they have you hover over a video uh, referred and you have to then wait for it and then it starts playing and you can watch the whole thing without hearing anything and it counts as a view so they probably realized oops Travis just got 400 views from people hovering over and watching for only one second. <laughs> and so, but I haven't seen that stopped because I did it the other day and uh, sure enough it counted as a view and showed the little red bar thing at the bottom showing that I'd watched it. And I didn't watch it, I didn't hear anything. I wasn't planning on watching it. There's lots of them I don't plan on watching. That's why I want to be able to view it to decide if I want to watch it. And if they give me a bunch of blah blah at the beginning, you lost my interest. And so, yeah. That's often why I'll have a picture at the beginning of my videos for you to inspire people to want to watch the video. Uh, we got one for Martin Luther King Jr.'s holiday so far. Uh, let's see, what are we talking about? Uh, it's not those, it was the Tetrad video, right? Yeah, LDS sign in heaven alert. And then I did a follow-up summary video. Only 16 on Travis Wing Goodsell.
2 for the Danite channel, <laughs> TWG, my Danite audience. Had a Danite think he was funny, so I reported him as abusive, because that's what he was. Only 25. Yeah, nobody's watching the Tetrad videos, guys. D Mormons, do you even believe in Joseph Smith? Oh, right, you don't. Because of Benson. When he was an apostle, so he had no authority to dictate to the church. Yet, nonetheless... <laughs> Fundamentals of a Mormon president. <clears throat> we don't listen to the dead presidents. And therefore, we don't even listen to the Book of Mormon. Only the living president. He revises everything in the church. That's how it's become through the cultural traditions. If there's something you don't like, then you'll go back to the old stuff. But if it's something that, uh, you know, doesn't get spoken, oh, well, I'm waiting for the new president to confirm that the old stuff is still legitimate. <laughs> oh, my God. And you think this is a rocky foundation to build upon? Because you guys are sinking in quicksand very fast. <clears throat> and so, yes, in the Tetrad video, I dropped that bombshell that in October 23rd, I had stumbled across the sign, which then figured out, oh, that's John the Baptist. <laughs> and ta-da, Joseph Smith History, verse 72 as he's talking about it as he Joseph Smith is the first Christ the first elder as John the Baptist which in Luke they're asking him are you the Christ and if you don't catch that <laughs> let's go to that All right, now in the 15th year of May, 1829, Tiberius Kaiser, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Utah, and Herod, being tetrarch of the United States of America, and both his brother Philip, tetrarch, and Ituria, and the region of Trachonitis, and Lasanius, the Tetrarch of Abilene, Annas, and Caiaphas being the high priests. Now Jesus is the only high priest. Nobody else, just Jesus. Really? You say there's only one Christ, but you won't acknowledge that there's only one high priest, too? What do you think the title holds? King and High Priest, Melek Zadok, High Priest, King and High Priest. People just don't think. Word of the Lord came unto John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. And he came into all the country about the Jordan River, preaching the baptism of repentance for remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the last days Mormon Moses, man like Moses, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be smooth, made smooth. Climb every mountain. It, it, 
it's getting kind of weird when SNL starts following me <laughs> for their jokes. <laughs> but Gretchen was looking an awful lot like Elmo. <laughs> I have the pet rocks. I never wanted an Elmo doll until now. <laughs> and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. <laughs> then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come. And yes, I've done the videos. He is furious what we have seen so far is nothing for what is to come because the abomination of desolation has been unleashed and he is pissed as Mormons still refuse to listen then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O oh, ye generations of vipers, we're reading it again, aren't we? <laughs> I've come to be baptized. Oh, you generation of vipers! <laughs> I'll come back later. Uh, there's an, another church baptizing just up the, the, up the way. <laughs> Bring forth therefore fruits. What's that? Worthy of repentance. And begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. <clears throat> Does he not get to it? Is this the wrong book? It is the wrong book. <laughs> Let's see if we can rely on Matthew. It's a nif it <clears throat> Luke 9 and Matthew 16 and Mark alrighty <clears throat> so this is Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi he asked his disciples saying whom do men say that I the son of man am Objection, Your Honor, leading the witness. <laughs> and they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. <clears throat> the seer answered and said, Thou art Jesus, the Christ. That's not exactly it. <laughs> Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthani. Really? It's in the Doctrine and Covenants? No. It's the wrong passage, but anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, one of those moods. That's it. You guys did not go to church today, right? You stayed home to stay safe? Because again, Joseph Smith prophesied for you to stay home and stay safe during the abomination of desolation. Are you obeying Joseph? Or are you throwing him under the bus again? Uh, we don't believe in the dead prophets. Do I need to go over it with you? Doctrine and Covenants. Section 45. You know, the parable of Joseph Smith using the pattern parable of Matthew 24. Notice, he does not use no man knows the day or the hour, as the redactor of the author of Matthew said. In that generation shall the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled, verse 31, and there shall be men standing in that generation that shall not pass until they shall see an overflowing scourge for a creeping death shall cover the land. Where do you think that came from? Yeah, Metallica. Moses with the Exodus. Hello, man like Moses. Are you not seeing the pattern of all scriptures now? Desolating. The abomination of desolation. Desolating sickness shall cover the land. And so here it is. Stay home, stay safe, in verse 32. Those who don't stay home and stay safe shall lift, lift up their voices and curse God and die from the abomination of desolation. And so in 19 July 1840, which did not get put in our Doctrine and Covenants, because Joseph Smith called Brigham Young and his 12 apostles Judas, referring to the Last Supper. You'll have to refer to the Joseph Smith Papers, because the Church will never allow it to be put in our Doctrine and Covenants. And they will definitely not point it out to anybody. We should go over that, shouldn't we? And so look, it's not Jews he's talking about. This is a parable. The house of my friends. But in that talk that the church calls verboten, It shows signs, verboten, hilarious. <laughs> and if you're clueless, Hogan's Arrows. <clears throat> Verse 66, this is why. This is the place to stay home and stay safe. And it shall be called the New Jerusalem, a land of peace, a city of refuge, a place of safety for the Mormon saints of the Most High God, the sun at noonday, Amen, the Christ, mortal man like Moses. And so not only will the whole world be at war, which is upon us, the abomination of desolation. Joseph knew it was coming and said, you must build the mountain cities of Zion and New Jerusalem and southern Illinois, letting them know most of you think it's in Missouri. You're wrong. It's in southern Illinois before the coming of the Christ. And this is why. I haven't gotten to this video yet. I keep promising. Everybody prophesied of the day and the hour even Matthew and even people not in scripture I think you probably saw Knights Templar 
You probably saw Hercules. You probably saw Perseus. You probably saw St. Patrick. They're not in Scripture. And yet they too knew of the Scripture dates. And in case you're wondering about Perseus, Perseus? How? And Hercules? How? What was, what was his mode of transportation? And then I refer you to Revelation chapter 19. <clears throat> so, yes, the Book of Mormon. It's not literal history. All ex-Mormons know it. But ex-Mormons are still confused. Is it Sidney Rigdon who's the major author of the Book of Mormon, or is Joseph Smith the author of the Book of Mormon with his rock and hat? Why do I even bother video doing videos if nobody's going to listen to me? And so, when you go to your Book of Mormon to be obedient and at least read it, you get to 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 8, where Lehi has star dates given to him. I wonder which book in the Bible they come from. I wonder if it has anything to do with the Apostle of the Lamb who is named John, who will write a book about the latter days. <laughs> For which verse or chapters 12 and 19 are contained in his star dates given to him in his dream at the beginning of the Book of Mormon. And look, oh, just like Joseph gets a book talking about the end of the world, which is the Book of Mormon, the Book of Mormon has Lehi getting a Book of Mormon talking about the end of the world. That's interesting. I wonder if there's an Exodus pattern involved here. I spent seven hours of videos making that for you guys. Oh, dear God. Is it just YouTube who's succeeded? And it's just their new thing of hovering over that causes view counts when you're not actually viewing? <laughs> to give me the 400 plus for that's, that's all folks on Travis Wayne Goodsell? I mean, dear God. Oh, look. Sun at noonday. Verse 9. And so, yes. Verse 4. It's not Jerusalem with the conquering of Babylon, or conquering by Babylon. The two times that it occurred to put the king on the throne of Judah the puppet king are you that incapable of identifying coding do you guys just not care about those kinds of movies and TV shows did you not watch James Bond ah, bored oh he had a kid huh <laughs> oh he died good Oh, woman's now James Bond. <laughs> uh, so bored about mystery movies with codes and spies and uh, can't we just get something like um, what else is there that isn't? I have no idea. Everything is. Everything involves code. Uh, it's just, seriously, I mean, everybody wants to have some kind of a secret. National Treasure was huge because of this. Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code was huge because people are fascinated with coding. That there's some secret mystery, some treasure buried in the caves 
in southern Illinois that Joseph saw and told to one of the other guys who said Joseph told me he saw a whole cave with gold treasure plates And he even mentions them in the Book of Mormon. Mormons instead say, oh, it's Christopher Columbus. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Try again. <laughs> it's the Knights Templar. Try again. Because everybody knew the date and the place. And so, 2017 is the beginning of the latter days. 2024 is the end of the latter days. A seven year period of time. And so, 2017, the first year, hmm, the reign of Zedekiah, Zadok of Yah, who is a puppet king. Uh, righteous Yah. The high priest of Yah. Huh, that's what Luke said. The high priest. King of Judah. The puppet king put on by Babylon. And it's a parable, so it's not actually Zedekiah. Somebody else. A puppet king. first year, which is 2017, I, this is just too complicated. Can't we just stick to the basics like faith without fruit? <laughs> oh my god. It's an apple. John Oliver's video. <laughs> Last week. Which I didn't. <laughs> and so yes. All the signs in the heavens. Are contained within this. Except Joseph knew of the Tetrad in 2014 2015 <sighs> he knew that that was going to set things in motion for the latter day false Christ of the great and abominable church and he knew that the second of the Tetrads would be the big one and it comes before the election this year, the midterms, where MAGA have already told us exactly what they're going to do. Isn't it interesting that self-proclaimed King Zedekiah spoke in Arizona yesterday and is now telling his followers trying to get them convinced to get vaccinated. That's strange. It's not like he's under the prosecutorial eye to be good right now. <laughs> if he gets arrested in connection with January 6th, I expect every single one of you to owe me an apology. I already know the video that will be set up for that great day, assuming I'm still alive. Realizing with the Martin Luther King Jr. video, everything's going to be closed tomorrow. God, they so 
but cuts down one extra day to try to save my life. But nonetheless, well, he's now saying that the whites are being discriminated against. <laughs> I found a white rapper who did a song about how he doesn't have white privilege, he doesn't understand what's going on, and he's right. There is no such thing as white privilege. The privilege that everybody complains about is the wealthy privilege. And yes, the majority of the wealthy are white. But there's a lot of Caucasians who are poor, who are slaves to the economy, working for the man, who have to work hard labor in fields that put their lives in jeopardy. And so, yeah, they don't have privilege. But, the whole of America is in bondage, and we need a man uh, like Moses to bring down the president of the great and abominable church, and I am going to just get into my happy dance. <laughs> And none of you are watching my videos to understand it was me. I took down two presidents. Take that, Bob Woodward. <laughs> and it was a Mormon who took down Nixon. He's Deep Throat. Uh, Mark Felt, is that his name? Mark Felk, a.k.a. Deep Throat, dead at 95. It was like 13 years ago when he died or something like that. But yeah, it finally came out. Bob Woodward had been speaking with Mormon Mark Felk as Deep Throat. Which is hilarious! <laughs> A Mormon! <laughs> so, <laughs> but now I get to take down two. That is just awesome. But they're trying hard to make sure I go down with them. <laughs> it's just I, I do these videos exposing bombshells that anybody would think oh, wow this is the awesome church <laughs> it's got usurpation and assassination and sex scandals <laughs> and election fraud 9-11's it's got it all and Mormons are just like nope no we don't want to believe in reality we'd rather believe in non-reality we want to believe in Jesus coming to save us. We don't want to know the truth about church history and all of the... <sighs> Dear God. <sighs> I just, you just got to throw up your hands and go, Oh my God, the greatest story ever told and Mormons don't want it known. 
they're going online deleting <laughs> the information to protect the great and abominable church oh my god <sighs> that may be my new title but yeah, I did the signs in the heavens, showed them to you, and all that, and I just, oh my god. 